All right, gotta watch my health a little bit. I can always teleport home to heal. <laughs> That's the crazy thing about this, right? Anything's gonna be coming after me here? Yes, some raptors. You overshot, brother. <laughs> you overshot just a little bit. Oh, you didn't though. All right, hold on. This remote makes the game so easy, guys. Listen, I've been playing Ark for a while and Awesome Teleporters by far is one of the cheatiest mods I've ever used. And I'm gonna abuse it uh, just a little bit today by using some of the shortcuts that my friends have set up on the server already. So, as you know, we have our little base here. It's going pretty well. I, I did have some damage up here and I'm, I'm actually short on crystal to put the window. I, I guess maybe a Magmasaur came around and destroyed it or whatever. But um, we need to get geared up with a few things and I really want to start getting XP. And I have a great plan for XP next episode, but right now, we just need a few key resources, namely electronics and polymer to start, you know, teching up, so to speak. So what I want to do is I'm going to grab a dinosaur that will help protect me. By the way, what's up with this? What happened? What happened to the cryopods? Look, look at this. Bought some hexagons you're keen to spend. No, because y'all sold out of freaking cryopods. That was my saving grace, man. Oh. I'm so angry about this. They do have um, some plant species stuff here, don't not now. Now you could get plant species seeds, which I thought was pretty good. Heck, all of them, all of them are available, which is pretty nice. Nothing anyway, was good. No, no, because we want some cryopods. Anyway, luckily, luckily we have the cryopods that we already got. They're not too hard to craft now that we're already a decent level, but again, we're gonna need electronics and polymer for that. It's one of the reasons that we really need it. So let's go to one of the spots that one of our nice friends have been uh, able to put up for us, and that's silica pearls. It says wet. Let's see, let's see what it looks like. Baryonyx has a few levels, by the way. This will cool us off too. All right, let's see where we're at here. The ocean. All right. Hmm. I don't see any silica pearls. Maybe we have to go lower. Look at this guy. <laughs> I've read about these. I've, I've seen people with tutorials on like bases that they put on these things. And oh, oh, you gonna take me for a little ride? Listen, we'll, we'll go for a little ride. You know where the silica pearls at over here, dog? I could really use them. <laughs> this is this is what it feels like to ride a giant turtle. Apparently, all right, we we gonna we getting away from you. I need to find silica pearls, and I thought they might be like here, due to the way that this is set up. But we might have to go a little bit deeper. Oh, you know what? I know where they're at. They're in these clams. Yep, these big old clams. Let's see what happens here. Okay. You get raw fish with them too? Oh, no, 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 no. All right, hold on. Yes, Baryonyx. Yes. Kill him. Kill him dead. While I just wait here while you do your thing, okay? <laughs> I told you this game was easy. Uh, He has 1.3k health left. We're going to be just fine. Oh, and he is eating that booty like groceries. You go do your thing, Barry. You go do your thing, Spinner. I'm just gonna whistle you so you come back to me after you've gotten enough. Uh-huh. There you <laughs> That's a good alligator. That's a very good alligator. Okay, you follow me around while we look for more of these clams, huh? What in the sand hell is this? Oh. Oh! Can you take care of him too, Bear? Please? He's kind of shocked right now, but ouch, this really hurts. Okay, <laughs> we we got to get away from this thing. There we go. <laughs> Sheesh, maybe I should uh, maybe I should see what this is all about. Barry is going way too far, way too far. Where did he go? Where did he go? Uh oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Barry, where'd you go, buddy? Where'd you go? Oh, there there you are, Spinner. 
Hey, how about how about I ride on you instead, and we go see what all this uh, this that weird field was about? Here's a side entrance to it. This looks like open underwater stuff. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is nice. It's a little place to. It's a little retreat. Oh, they got metal over here too. Is there pearls? That's what that's that's what we're here for, right? Definitely does not seem to have any pearls here. Cool place, but no pearls. Oh, this is the mother load of pearls. Look at this. Let's just hope we don't get eaten by any eels. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And like three more right here. Oh, four, five. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is a pretty good spot, man. Like, I know our rates are a little elevated. Well, maybe a lot elevated. Um... <laughs> But uh, this is going to be really, really good. Man, they're everywhere. <laughs> this is just on the opposite side. There's, you know, a big old cluster of like nine or ten of these clams again. Oh, that's good. I think I think that's probably going to be enough. How much do we have exactly? Just try not to get eaten by eels. Seven seventy-five. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be plenty. Let's, let's get out of here, Spinner. Where to next? All right, I went and returned the pearls and grabbed the Anki, and now we're gonna try oil, crystal, and obsidian. Well, mostly for crystal. And I got my little buddy Anklo. All right, let's see. We're gonna need to put some cold weather gear on real quick. All right. Oh, there's a glitch right there too. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh-huh. Okay, it's, well, it's still pretty cold, though. <laughs> still pretty cold. But look up here, man. Now, I know what you're thinking. Get that glitch. No. <laughs> a teleportable glitch? When we get, to, when we go get experience, I'm going to use that glitch. Uh, so, let's just pull out the Anklo right here. Beautiful. Excuse me, buddy. And let's, let's get some of this crystal, man. Oh. 135 very very nice and there is a lot right here good lord now don't get me wrong i'm gonna enjoy the obsidian right here too man yeah this is this is gonna be super nice with stacks mod god like i can get so much right here all right health is getting a little on the low side this uh this rhino is dead set on blocking us from our expeditions here I just want one more node of something before I leave. And I think it's going to be that metal node, just to make things easier. Am I going to make you mad if I swing my tail right here? Man, you are getting so close right now. Huh! I knew it! <laughs> oh! Well, hey, you blocked me into... You knocked me into more nodes. Thank you, Mr. Rhino. You have a special place in heaven now, buddy. All right. And yeah, my health is extremely low right here. Okay, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out. Gotta get out. This isn't exactly making the game out to be easy, huh? Last remote location. And eat some food. All right, we made it. Now, quick, take take off the clothes before you melt, boy. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh! All right, we good. Now let's just transfer this stuff. Sheesh. <laughs> so with our newfound stuff, I'm still kind of low in hell too from the, the expedition, but with our newfound loot, we could probably get into something that I've been wanting to play with, and that is a chainsaw. But to do that, we're going to need some polymer and electronics. Now we've got the stuff for the electronics naturally with all of the pearls and the polymer we should have enough chitin I have an idea how to get chitin but that's gonna come into another episode first thing that we got to do is make electronics though and that's gonna be 25 that we need let's just make sure that we can get enough from that that's great let's go ahead and pull those and then the uh, polymer I think they need we needed 75 for that let's see 75 polymer and that, that should make it all. Then we can run the chainsaw. And you know what we're gonna do with the chainsaw? Oh, what do we need now? We, oh, wait, no, not. <laughs> we, 
We don't need 75. We're short on a little bit of cementing paste. 39 to be exact. So let's do, I don't know, 40. Let's do 40. Yep, we got enough stuff for that. Great. So, <laughs> yeah, you can't make 75 chainsaws, Z. You only need one, to be honest. All right. All right. So this should be done in just a second. There we go. Chainsaw is made now. And this thing I hear can harvest tech dinos like a boss. And that should reduce our need to go grab electronics and silica pearls and stuff from the ocean. So for this, we need to go to the moon. And you guessed it. There's a location already on the moon, I do believe. Let's see. Actually, it looks like there is no moon base. If we take a look at the map, you'll see, yeah, Lunar is clean. Nothing there. So we're going to have to make our own little setup. I mean, it's just going to be a teleport. It's not going to be that bad. Let me get healed up before I go and get prepped for the journey. Oh, my God. The hell was that? <laughs> was that a meteor? Dang, man. Now listen. I thought my... I had never been hit by a meteor before. Or my house had never been hit by a meteor before. Up until today. I logged in and I saw one of my windows was broken. And some foundations was messed up. Now meteors are falling from the dadgum sky over here, this far out. God dang it. That sucks. Okay. Well, look. Just to, just to catch you up on what I've been doing. I went ahead and put together some more electronics so that I can make a teleporter. And I believe I have enough stuff to do it. It's like a little teleporting pad. I'm going to need a couple of these, actually. One for the moon and one for my house. But if I... Uh, Let's see, I'm going to need 20 more polymer as well, I believe. Yep, polymer 20. We can make that. The teleporter. Bam. All right. So, one more of these to add to the house would be great. Man, I don't <laughs> This whole meteor thing is just making me trip out now. I, I think they're just coming for me specifically. That's the first time I've said, well, the first time I've seen it as I've been on, you know? Oh, my God. All right. Uh, let's see if we could do one more of these teleporters, huh? There we go. I just needed to make a few things and make a few little purchases. I'm, I'm kind of short on chitin, uh, but we have enough to actually put our teleporter in, and we're going to put it in the middle of the house because I'm kind of scared <laughs> that it gets blown up. This wooden ceiling ain't going to last long, too, especially if the meteors are breaking stone. I might have to build a metal base if I'm going to plan on staying in the volcano or even move. This is a, a new development also. The heck is this thing over here? Uh, <laughs> all right, we're gonna just name this Zuljin. Very good. And now we should be set to travel to Lunar. I just need to eat some food first. All right, so on live stream, I have found a location for uh, some really, really good stuff on the moon, actually. And I think that's where I'd like to set down a teleporter if I can find it. So. If we go to Lunar, and I think it's Northeast is one of the closest places to it. And we should be able to do some damage with Spinner, or at least get away from anything that tries to kill us as we explore a little bit over there. And I don't know if it's going to be hot or cold where we end up. So here goes nothing. And... Uh-oh. It's hot right here. Alright, that's okay though. That's okay though. Let's see, where do we need to go? We just need to make sure we're taking quite a bit of damage right here. We just need to, we need to get, ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Ouch, move. Am I paralyzed or something? Okay, let's just go this way. <laughs> let's just go this way. Get out of the sun, Z, get out of the sun. As long as we're in the shadow of something, it's fine. But they got stuff shooting at me, hold on. Oh, and there's a raptor right there. Hold on. Tech stuff. Oh my god, I can't land. Just attack. All right, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Oh, in the shadow. Oh my gosh. All right, where are we? Bearings. Bearings. We want to go left right here. Excuse me, Mr. Rex. <laughs> Stop bouncing. 
This was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. All right, we good, we good, we good, we good. <laughs> and we're in the shadow. Oof, and it's cold now. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, we, we okay, we okay, we okay, we okay. Yes, we are right. I, t I said we were okay. I meant it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Craziness. Let's eat a little piece of meat here. All right, and... Uh, Oh, there's some bad juju over there. Let's let's go ahead and not too close to the radiation. Okay, straight up here. All right. Oh, good. All right, man. Yeah, we gotta watch all of that like gas and stuff. That's some bad. That's some bad stuff. All right, Moon Cave is this way. Jump. <laughs> all right. So far, so good. So far, so good. We just need to make sure that we don't go in any of the pits, and it should be fine. You know, I should have brought my Bloodstalker for traveling, but the idea was to try to kill a few things when I was here. I suppose I could just do that here? You know, because there's some, there's some easy stuff to kill right here, maybe? Oh! Ha! Ha ha! This is great! What a rush, man. What a rush. Oh, there's one of them space whales, y'all. All right. Got to watch my health a little bit. I can always teleport home to heal. <laughs> That's the crazy thing about this, right? I can always just teleport home to heal. Anything's going to be coming after me here? Yes, some raptors. You overshot, brother. <laughs> you overshot just a little bit. Oh, you didn't, though. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if I can, uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. Ouch. Alright, I think we're okay here. Look at all, okay. This, this is just a pile of stuff that they got going on out here. I think this would be a great place to try out the chainsaw. It's in the shade. Now, we're gonna probably take a lot of damage in here, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, defense unit is dead. I'm more interested in the raptors. If we can actually kill any without eating them with the berry. Man, too bad you can't grind these suckers, huh? Dang it! Stop eating them! <laughs> I'm one-shotting them, oh man! We need something bigger. <laughs> All right, we have a contender. We have a contender and our health's getting a little bit low. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it to this cave. Dang it! <laughs> the Baryonyx is not the best candidate for this. We were supposed to be trying out the chainsaw. God dog it. Oh, this is a big one. Hopefully we won't eat him alive. Oh, we did anyway. <laughs> God dog it. I swear, and our health's getting a little bit too low. You know, I said this was an easy game, but there's supposed to be an arch around here that I've found before that has a very, very, let's eat a little bit of food just for a couple more seconds out here. Uh, there's, it's very, 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 um, it's a very cool cave. Let's see. Arch, arch, arch. Just find it. I can easily put down a, um, a teleporter here, too, just to get a little bit closer to where I want to go. But honestly, we could we could find this thing easy with a Bloodstalker. All right, let's see. Yeah, I am not seeing it, and I'm getting a little bit too close. How about this? How about we go home real quick, grab heal up, grab the Bloodstalker, and then we'll find the cave. All right, let's try the Bloodstalker now. So this is going to be a lot easier, most likely. We're in the shadow right now, and it's still cold. And I lost my last teleport spot, but watch this. Infinite hops with the Bloodstalker. <laughs> so when you've been floating for a little while, you have a cooldown that goes away. And then you could just hit jump again. It's absolutely amazing. We do have to be a little careful, though, because uh, we can still get hit by a meteor or whatever. And now we are looking around for an arch, like I had spoke about before. 
And I think it might be down there. Look at the space whales, bruh. Crazy. All right, let's go way down here. There it is, right there. Kind of hard to see, but that's definitely it. Let's just go ahead and land right here. Or bounce a little bit. We're just going to get down and we're going to duck inside it. Uh-huh. See, so this is the this is what you're looking for here. The the easiest way to find this, I'll I'll try to show you before I go too deep in. There's the cave entrance. Uh but what you want to do is there is that obelisk looking thing. Let's see. I'm just going to go as high as I can here. See that obelisk looking thing? Okay, when you get to that obelisk, the green obelisk looking thing, you want to face north and go to, um, well, just the first arch that you look for. It's just like a formation where the rocks kind of arch over. And there's the cave entrance just right here. So let's see here. Hey, I killed one. <laughs> I killed one without destroying it. I, we get the chance to chainsaw it now. Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and break these guys. All right, and we're good. Okay. Oh, no. Come on, man. <laughs> they homing in on me. All right. Defense unit is dead. Ouch. Defense unit is dead. Let's go ahead and equip our chainsaw. And... Oh, baby. <laughs> Not that much more than I noticed from actually harvesting with my baryonics, but still cool. Let's go in further in this cave and set up this teleporter. So as, as you can see, tons of amber gri gri, like we called it last episode, as well as um, just some really, really cool grass that you can actually get wood from, from like a Therizina. I did all of this on stream, got quite, I mean quite a bit of progress done over here. And there's a Carcanos that spawns in this little lake here as well as just a ton of different things like these uh there's there's a lot of fish in here let me see if i can spot this carcanos yeah the carcanos does not appear to be here but a lot of the times there's a carcanos in the water here that you can get polymer from that's what i was hoping to be able to get uh with the chainsaw but i don't i don't see him that's for sure i don't see him but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a teleport pad like right here. Because the only really thing, the only thing that we really have to worry about in this area is the roll rats. And I mean, unless you steal their stuff, they really aren't aggressive. Let's go ahead and take that teleport pad that we had, put it down like right there. Perfect. And we'll just call it Moon Cave semi-dangerous how about that and boom good deal <laughs> well i did i did the wrong bracket here all right semi-dangerous and yeah this should be good man this should be really really good so now we can come back and forth anytime we want to check to see if the carcanos is here we can get all the ambergris we want really really safely getting all of the um getting a therizinosaur and coming down to get wood right here is really 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 simple due to this grass being uh, <laughs> uh being able to give wood when you use it and uh, hopefully we can spot this carcanos sooner or later but i think this is a heck of a productive episode just proving how easy these remotes make the game <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did give us some dapple that like button to show your support and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos thanks so much for watching as always this is ulgen signing off and we'll see you next time Break it down.